Well, hello there to Android TV. This is Mike Bates. Happy Halloween. And this is yet another new feature of Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. This time we have the new camera with almost every single one of its features complete for us today. So without further ado, let's get started. So, starting right off, let's just get here. We can get to it, obviously, by swiping to the left of the lock screen. It opens right up. My battery is low. But anyways, so here you can see, this is the new camera UI. It doesn't have a whole bunch of buttons and knobs like it did in uh, Ice Cream Sandwich and Jelly in, and 4.1 Jelly Bean. Instead, you've got this one menu, which you can choose in between your, food, your different shooting modes, which is Photosphere, Panorama, Video, and Photo. Up here, this opens a menu, but there's a better way to do that, and of course, this is the shutter button. So, if you tap, you can always, of course, tap to focus, just like normal, and just snap a picture. Or you can hold down and it opens this menu, and you can slide over here, you can slide to any of the options, and they pop open their respective menus. So you can see that here, I can scroll through the different exposure settings without ever lifting my finger off the screen. And the same goes for uh, this setting over here, which is the white balance and the flash. So that's a pretty cool feature. I like that because it's very quick, it's very easy, and if you get used to it enough, you'll be able to navigate these menus very quickly and get, get the shooting modes that you need prepped without too much time wasted. So the big, I mean, that's pretty cool. Everything, I mean, that's a ni it's always nice to have a new, better UI. But the big thing here is Photospheres, and of course, that is the newest feature. It's pretty revolutionary. And so I'll be taking us outside to see how it works. And I guess we're going to meet back up here once I'm done, so let's head on out. So here we are outside, sorry for the extremely like handheld recording thing, but anyways, here we go. So to open it, you just merely hit this uh, menu down here, go over to the sphere and hit, hit that, and it'll start guiding you through. So first it tells you to align to start, you just start aligning it with the dots that appear, and it takes pictures for you. So, it tells me that there's a dot right there, it wants me to take a picture, up we go, sorry it's rather hard to film this while doing one thing with one hand and one another and the other with the other. So as you can see it's a nice fall chilly day out, a nice day for Halloween. At least it's not super stormy. I feel bad for some other residents of the US right around now. So just finishing this up. So as you can see you don't have to do the full thing. We'll just grab a couple more shots here. And then I'm not gonna do a full 360 just because it takes a little while and you guys get the point by now. So, this is how a Photosphere works in Android 4.2. Pretty cool if you ask me. Of course, you can't really view them right now, which I'll go into in more depth once we get inside. It is a bit chilly out here. If you can see my hand shaking, that's because it's cold out. Come on now. There you go. So, I guess that's going to about to wrap up our Photosphere video. Almost. And that'll do it. Okay, so I'll see you guys back inside. So here we are back inside with our photosphere that we just took outside. As you can see, it's kind of curved. If you look at the angles here, it's kind of curved. That's the view you saw from out there. And you'll see that there's this big button right here in the middle of the screen. Current, if, now in 4.2, we probably we pretty much think that that will let you look around it like a sphere. But for now, we can only view them like a traditional old panorama. Simply because this is a leaked APK, a linked uh, flashable zip, so it's not exactly a finished product, unfortunately. Um, there is a way you can view, still view them in spheres, though. If you share this to Google+, which is completely possible, then it lets you view it online in a desktop uh, view. Like, you can't do it, you can't view it um, in the Google+, app, can't view it on the device at all. you got to be on a desktop computer and look at that post on Google+. So it is possible to see them, which is pretty cool. I checked out one of the ones I posted earlier today. Of course, you can get um, a link to our Google+, page will be down in the description. I'll probably post a, a little uh, yeah, photo sphere for you guys to look at, so I'll, I'll link that in the description. So yeah, um, the only other thing that's new in Android 4.2 is the editing software, and like the is the quick editing software. First of all, we have a lot more filters. We have a lot, so you people who are really into the Instagram filters will probably like this. Next, we have some borders, another thing that they probably took from Instagram. I personally always have my f pictures without borders. Then we have the traditional ones, straighten, crop, rotate, and mirror. And then down here we have auto color, exposure, vignette, contrast, shadows, vibrance, sharpness, and curves. Now, the curves is interesting. You can see how it is already. 
and then I can move it up and down to change different aspects of it. I can also specify a particular color to bring more or less of into the screen. So that's pretty interesting, and it's a pretty nice new feature in Android 4.2. So, thanks so much, guys, for watching. Um, I would like to thank you guys all for supporting the video so much yesterday. We got a lot of feedback, lots of views on that, and I'd like to welcome you, a um, couple of subscribers who subscribed yesterday. Thank you so much for subscribing. And so, I guess I will see you guys all next time. Please like, uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Sorry, that's very stereotypical, but I'm in a little bit of a rush right now. I have a Halloween party I'm going to tonight. So, anyways, uh, thanks, guys, so much for watching. I'll see you guys all next time, and peace.